Hello everybody, hello, hello, and welcome back to another FTB, wait, not FTB, sorry, all the mods on the Acrylic sub server. Look at all the beautiful people on here, all wonderful, wonderful people, and last time we left off, I'm so far behind everybody else at this point in time on the server, let me just point that out first and foremost, um, so that's why I don't want, like, too many gifts and things uh, unless I ask for them and stuff like that like I want to still have my current playthrough but get to talk to amazing people and whatnot all the time um, one quick note I have disabled chat at this point in time some people were uh, basically saying how they were a little bit they didn't really like having chat up and running and seeing their stuff go through so hey I gotta respect the others while I'm recording that's the main thing I usually turn it back on as soon as we're done though a uh, couple quick things about the heat generators yes I do have three of them here as you can see and we have our two machines like so um, you can add coal to them and it converts it over to lava you get 800 millibuckets of lava for the heat generator to generate more power now this lava is just going to give it like more of a boost is basically all that it's doing uh, but it's kind of nice that you can you know get use coal and stuff like that in those guys to get more stuff as well instead of always going to have to find lava all right now a couple things i do have some iron dust and in here we got some gold dust as well so i've been doubling our our processes uh, the next step though I want to get a furnace or a smelter from the same mod called mechanism um, an energized smelter is the name of the game for this guy and for that it looks like we're going to need a bit more steel and stuff and we're going to need some more of these basic control circuits which is redstone and osmium and the steel and etc etc so, uh, let's see, what do I have? I don't think I've made it already. I don't think I have. No, it doesn't look like it at all. Um, now, we do have a bit of osmium. I'd like to get a little bit more. Um, where are we at here? Let's get... Uh, let's do eight of these in the enrichment chamber. Just to get some of that osmium dust. Luckily, this guy's not that loud, by theory. You know, it's one of those things. Um, but as you can see, our power from our generators is... This one ran out finally, okay? This one, not going yet. This one, not really going yet. So it's only using the one generator, which is good, and it's buffer. So it, it's kind of smart in the way that it works things out, in my opinion. Um, so we need a little bit of redstone... Because how many of these... We need to make two of these, right? So we need a little bit more of that. So we'll put in that and one of those. Get this guy going. Um, I don't even have a furnace, do I? No, I do not. Okay. I do have cobble on me, though. So let's quickly get ourselves just a standard old vanilla furnace. And we'll get that ready to smelt up this osmium. Good. That'll smelt us up eight. Get that going. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And then from there, I need this one to make our other control circuit. Very good. Boom and boom. That'll make us another basic control thing. Um, as you can see, some of the chat still shows up. I have it to show the commands. I want to make sure that everything's still working correctly, if you know what I mean. Um, and everything's everything seems to be doing pretty well there. Um, the next step is we need the coal, and can we use iron dust? No, we can't. So we do need to smelt up a bit of the iron dust as well, and that's fine. So we'll do a little bit of that, get that smelted up into some iron, which can then become the refined iron, which can then become the steel um, in the metallurgic infuser. Very good. That's done. Excellent. And we're getting there on the energized stuff. So we're going to need four more redstone. We're going to need eight pieces of glass. Uh, we need more iron than that. We need two more. Um, let's do one more of those as well. We need four of those, don't we? Uh, not a big deal. Just little adjustments. Uh, so that is the steel casing. That'll be four of that. Four glass. We need two more glass, so that's six glass and four redstone. All right, four redstone, 
very easily done. Uh, some glass. We only have four glass. Okay. We can get another two glass here. Just out of that. Good. And one and two. Then one, two, three, four. Four more of carbon. Excellent. So that should get us the steel and everything else that we need. All right, so that process is all done. So let's get our steel casing. Very nice. And let's get our energized smelter. Beautiful. Now I want to place this guy right next to the enrichment chamber. And the reason I want to do this is we want to auto eject the to the output of the blue side. Perfect. Awesome. Okay, good. So that should then auto output to the side here. And this guy is going to be input on the dark red. Excellent. And we are actually going to output to the top and not to the side here. And we're going to auto eject that as well. Now to do that, of course, we can do a quick little uh, chest here and get that on top so that we have all of our smeltables or all of our ingots arriving right up here. So what this should do is... There we go. There we go. It's working now. Okay, and that should be running quite nicely. Now, by theory, if I put the rest of the iron ore in there, I'm just going to demonstrate with the 12 that I have here. The enrichment chamber should be working. It'll put it into the dust, doubling the ores, and then we will move it on over immediately. Bingo, you just saw it tick over into the dust, into the smelter, and throwing it up to the chest. So this works just similar to Ender IO or Thermal Expansion or any of those other mods that do the exact similar thing. Um, but now, as you can see, our power situation is definitely being tapped a little bit more. Um, quick note as well, all of these machines do have, or at least a lot of them do, have muffling upgrades. The problem that I have with this is, it does require steel and, and some enriched alloy, and then of course some more glass. So they're not that cheap, actually. Um, but I wouldn't mind trying one. So let's give one of these a quick try. So we do need to get ourselves a piece of steel dust. So we'll get that going. We need to do some redstone with some iron as well, times two. Okay. We do have enough to afford these. And I kind of want to see how well they work and where they work and all that kind of stuff. Um, so let's see. Because this smelter's a little loud. Okay, and as you can see, we're starting to get a backlog over here, which is great. That is exactly what we want to see, is a little bit of a backlog, um, because that will then throw them into here once this is done. Now, there is upgrades and whatnot that we can do to these machines to make them even faster, but they will also absorb more power. Understandably so. So, let's get those going as well. Um... So that should give us that and that. We do need a little bit more of this, though. So let's just do that. Are we going to be able to get both? I don't think we can, right? Off one piece of wood? Pretty sure we can't. Uh, so we'll just throw in some more there for right now until we get this smelter and all of our smeltables caught up. Uh, which is great. But yeah, as you can see, backlog. So the enrichment chamber is already faster than the smelter at this current stage. Okay, there we go. And two enriched alloys. Good. Let's see about this muffler upgrade. Let's see what we do here. So, um, let's see. How do I upgrade? Go. And muffling. Okay, so that did reduce it quite a bit. But I have a feeling you're going to need a few of those per machine. Um, or at least for your loud machines that you determine to be loud. So those are going to get to be a little expensive over time. Uh, definitely more expensive than the actual sound muffler itself. But I'm not sure if that even works on the machines. We'd have to test that a little bit later on. I don't have the wool for that uh, to pull that off. Um, now, the cool thing about mechanism is there is different tiers of you know, or processing. And you can actually get up to, I think it's four times as many. 
Uh, if I'm not mistaken, like, there's crystals and shards and all that kind of stuff for the different levels that you can go to. Because um, there's things like the Crusher does one, and the Purification Chamber, and a couple other things. The other really good thing about this is, um, let's find it here. So, let's look at the, um, let's look at the smelter again here, and decide what we want to do. So, you can make these blocks into factories as well and it's not that much more expensive at least to get a basic factory all right and it requires the previous tier to get the next tier right so the factory is kind of like an upgrade for this whole system so let's quickly upgrade both of these machines that we have the enriching chamber enrichment chamber and the energized smelter into factories so we're going to need two basic control circuits which is the osmium with the redstone okay no big deal redstone and iron not that bad actually not that bad at all let's quickly throw in some osmium like so and get this guy processed up because we do need a couple pieces of that ready to go our power system is already drained we are drained right out on power that is not good that is not good at all. At all. Um, we really don't have much for even coal and stuff at this point in time. I really haven't farmed too much coal. Or most of it's gone into torches. Just saying. Um, now, I'm not sure. It doesn't look like there's really any sort of lava generators or anything like that that we can use. So, hmm. Let's see. I think additional add-ons adds a generator and I want to try it out so let's give it a try generator let's see oh, the coal generator or the oil generator all right let's give this coal generator a quick try so that's going to require some black quartz iron and sticks some cobble and some coal or charcoal all right so we should have yeah we got some of that good we can quickly smelt that up into the thing that it is. Um, uh oh, they're updating the server right now. Oh no, danger, danger. It's fine, it's fine. I knew that that was coming. I knew it was coming, which is awesome. We are getting updates, yes. And I think a lot of people are pretty excited about getting updated. And let's get that going. One sec. Yes, please hold off. I'm currently building things. It's fine. All right, so we're going to do that. We're going to need a bit of iron as well. So let's make our iron casing. Good, that's one of those. And I think we have everything that we need. Yeah, there we go. Coal generator hype. All right. Now let's see. Uh, I should be able to do this and put it right there. And this should tie in perfectly. Click for Tesla mode. Click for Redstone Flux mode. Okay, so this can generate two different types of power as well. Very, very useful. Okie dokie. Let's throw in one of those. Does it tell me what it's generating? It doesn't tell me what it's generating. But it is generating. Now, is it exporting it, though? I don't know if it actually is exporting it accordingly. Ah! Uh, I don't know if it is. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to let this go. Because I don't think that that's actually working. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Alright. Interesting. I thought that these universal cables were going to work. Unless we are generating more RF than what we're using. But why isn't it filling up then? and speeding up at the same time. I just want to quickly see. We are generating a decent amount. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think it's actually generating. I don't think it's actually pushing out the power. So, um, I'm not sure what we can do about that. That's a bit of a problem. That is a bit of a situation. Uh, we might need some sort of energy cable or something like that to improve this or to change this up. 
And we don't have the alloy smelter to pull that off. Hmm. See? Problems aplenty. Alright, so just as I feared, uh, these basic universal cables are not going to do the job that we require at all. Um, so we are going to need to get something that you all should be familiar with, and that's the Ender Al IO Alloy Smelter. So let's quickly get ourselves one of these beautiful, beautiful things. Machine chassis into the Alloy Smelter. See how quick that was? I love it. I love it. Now this should be getting power. It is. Good. Um, not very much power for that matter, but that's a different story altogether. We are going to need at least two more of those um, to go with that. So we're going to need three of you. This needs to be alloys only. Boom and boom. That's going to start. It's going to be really slow. So I'm going to bring you guys back once all things are done. Uh, we'll get this power situation figured out. Uh, that did generate 48,000 for one piece of coal. Uh, so that's pretty good, I think. I feel. You know, all that all that kind of stuff. Um, oh, yes. I need to fix my pickaxe. Yes, yes, yes. I almost forgot all about that. Uh, but yeah. So I'm going to plug away. I'm going to wait for this to finish. And this to finish. So that we can actually get all of our goodies going. And like I said, it's going to take a while. And that should give us... Um, some of the conductive iron. Now, from there we also need the conduit binder, which is some gravel, some sand, and some clay. Luckily enough, we happen to have just enough of everything to get the binder composite going. And that's going to give us at least enough to start on our endeavors here, which is very good. Very, very nice. All right. Perfect. That's working. And yeah. So I'll be back once it's all said. All right. So I apologize if anything was out of sync or not. Uh, my second PC crashed again uh, right in the middle there. So about 17 minutes in. So I've switched everything back to my main PC because no excuses. We're getting things done around here. I'm done. I'll figure that out in my own time. And it needs to become more stable anyways. So we did get the conductive iron here. And we have the conduit binder. So we can at least get ourselves the energy conduit. Very nice. Now all we need to do is break this stuff. This is going to take a while. Just to let you know. Uh huh. Takes a little bit to break these cables. Not ideal in the slightest. But uh, this should fix our problem that we were having and connect up all the same. So that should be draining power. Excellent, and it is. Okay, good stuff. I like what I am seeing. Um, we'll just remove you. You're staying, Lava? You're going to be a good Lava and stay? Good Lava. I don't really care if I lose some of these. I'd like to keep them as much as possible. But I understand the way that this is going to work. And I'll probably lose a couple. So, uh-huh. This is dangerous. I think it should stay, though, right? I think we're okay for that to stay. All right, good. And last but not least is this guy down at the end. We'll remove him. And that should fix our problem with this. All right. So that should be charging up. Good. This should be charged up nice and good, and this should actually be draining. Beautiful. All right, so the next step is basically to get some charcoal, and a decent amount of charcoal too, because, well, it's it's going to be a thing. So we can easily get quite a bit of it uh, just with our little trees here. We don't really have the means to uh, do some of this stuff, but... You know, it's not a big deal. And as you can see, our power is not keeping up at all. Mind you, I guess we drained it all out just even trying to fill this guy up. So we're pretty much out of power. Uh, so instead of doing the gold here like I'm doing, we are going to switch over to oak wood. I want to get this guy up and running. 
I'm going to also go farm a little bit of coal, perhaps. I have a little, uh, little section over here that I kind of dug into just to get a little bit lower. And, aha, there's some coal right there. Perfect. Let's get even just a little bit will definitely help us out. And then we can start getting the charcoal uh, train up and running, which will be very beneficial for our power. Definitely. Uh, we got some silver ore. Don't need that. And a little bit of coal. Good. All right. Excellent. Get that. And place down that. Uh, that copper I'll come back for later. Um, we just needed some coal. So the charcoal's going. We got that system started and processing, which is good. And uh, let's give this a bit of a boost, like so. That should help a decent amount. Eh, still not quite enough, but... Uh, it will help overall, I think. Other than that, I'm going to set up our standard furnace over here. Chop down some trees and get some of that going as well. Ooh, we're out of food. Well, not completely out. We do have one raw pork chop. <laughs> That's not so great. That's not so great at all. And you know what? I guess we have some apples. Um, we do have apples, so we could make maybe some apple juice or something. What is this, Biomash? No clue what that does. Um, but yeah, so we can make a few other things, I think. We should be good to go here. That's going to be very annoying, just continually clicking over like that. We can make an apple tree itself. That might be our food, best food source starting out here. So I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to make one quick apple tree with three of our apples like so and then from there we can you know continually grow apples all right so that'll work like that good we do have some bone meal but i'm gonna leave it for now and uh i might need to make another one of these coal generators as well uh off camera perhaps but in the meantime, I did want to upgrade our stuff. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, no, that is enough. That's more than enough. Okay, I like that. That is very good. So it was just depowering because of this. Good, excellent. Okay, so uh, the next thing that we need to do is we need to upgrade these to the factory model, right? So this enrichment chamber can become a basic smelting factory with one more piece of iron and two more pieces of redstone good like so and that is going to now become a basic enriching factory awesome so now when we place this guy down it's a little bit different and what it can do is it can actually process three things at a time now, again, we are going to use more power while doing this, too, so keep that in mind. But uh, I think it's going to be for the better overall. Yeah, so it looks like we could still use a little bit more power, but not much. Not much at all. So this makes me very happy. Very happy indeed. Um, and then all that we're going to do is we're going to save that coal, throw in that charcoal, and other than that, I think I'm going to make a few more of these. So, four more iron each. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. What happened to all of our iron? Did we not have a whole bunch of iron? I swear we had... Oh, there it is right there. It's fine. I totally didn't miss that. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, see? Alright, so we're getting the charcoal. We're actually getting a backlog. So this one coal generator is enough for this energized smelter. Now, I am a little bit worried and concerned once we start processing things. Um, so if we process, say, that, that, and some tin, for example, in here, because we can process all three now, uh, make sure our configures are still good. They are. Uh, oh, no, they're not. Auto eject on. Good. So we're processing all three at the same time. 
This is where I'm a little concerned about our power. Yeah, we've drained out already on that, and our factory is going down. So it is using quite a bit of power to do this whole process as we are losing. Okay, well, we do have enough iron. Let's quickly uh, smelt up a black quartz. You know what, let's do eight while we're at it. Like so, in here. And we'll just take the rest of that. I don't think we really need to uh, leave that for anybody extra. So we have the wood. We have that. This is out of power, so it's it's going to slowly keep going. Uh, but it's going to start draining this one, which is the bigger problem. Because I do want that uh, smelter to process uh, nice and quickly. Other than that, the other two are basically going to stay the same for now and proceed onward. So we should have that smoky quartz. We do need a little bit of coal and some cobble, which we have everything now. Okay, so we'll get the iron casing times one and another coal generator from actually additions. And you know what? Let's go. Let's go vertical here. I think this is a good idea. Yeah. Let's just stack them on top of one another. Good. Uh, we'll take out half of this, put it in here, get that going. And I'm going to get the energy conduit ready because that's lava. Got it. There we go. Okay. So now we should be generating a decent amount. That should go up. It's going up. That's still kind of struggling. But I think it does use three times the power now that we're uh, we're doing things. So, you know, one of those things. Speed. We could look at energy. Uh, but let's see when this reaches the top and see if this starts to go back up or not. If not, we can always make another coal generator and progress on from there. So that's going up. Looks like that's still going to be struggling a little bit. Let's get some more charcoal. Yeah. Yeah, we're still struggling on the factory there. But I'm not too surprised by that. I think that that's uh, going to be a pretty common thing. So, not a huge deal. We can get more of these coal generators. They are pretty darn cheap, actually, all things considered. Uh, especially just a little bit of iron like that. That's all it takes. That's pretty... That's pretty efficient uh, in terms of resource cost and requirements. So I'm just going to make another one here. And uh, yeah, that's, that's going to be a decent amount of power to get us going. So I'm going to steal a little bit of there, a little bit out of there. Get that guy fired up as well. And voila, power issue solved. So, uh, the only other one, I'd like to upgrade our enrichment chamber as well, but that's going to require even more generators. And for that, we're going to need a lot of trees and you name it. So, I think for right now, we should probably leave it about here. Um, yeah, I think we should leave it about here and uh, go from there. We Our apple tree grew. That's very useful. We can get the apples going. Um, other than that, we are going to get chopping down some trees. At least we have the fast leaf decay on. Am I right or am I right? You know you know what I mean? Could, could you imagine this without fast leaf decay? Uh, I would love to get some uh, a lumber axe as well, but that's probably not in the horizon just quite yet. Uh, anyways, I think that's going to be it. I think we're done. Server restart in like 30 seconds. So make sure you leave a like, make sure you subscribe, all that fun stuff. And uh, have a good one.